All right, all right, all right. So the Atlanta Hawks have traded for DeJounte Murray. They moved four first round picks and Danilo Gallinari. And that's it. No significant players in return as the Spurs are officially moving into the Victor Wenbanyama sweepstakes. So in Atlanta, we now have a DeJounte, Trey Young, John Collins, Clint Capella, and DeAndre Hunter starting five, unless they like decide to trade John Collins in this upcoming week. Because he was rumored to be in this trade originally, but then he, they just took him out and they said, screw you guys. And if you want to see what the Spurs roster looks like, uh, yeah, so I have control for this career simulation which as you could if you could read titles you know it's pretty self-explanatory we're doing a DeJounte Murray Trey Young Hawks career simulation the 26 and 24 year old men but we'll also see how the Spurs make out with these picks but that that sounded kind of crazy and this man said I was trying to get a new picture on Pertle when you reminded me to subscribe and look who it is it's George Gervin and that awful awful terrifying pro oh, snap I thought the Hawks are 14 in the conference no it's the Spurs but the Hawks look at them there you go 29 and 8 second best in the conference so far and they're probably hold on to that because they have an eight game lead or something like that beautiful beautiful work now honestly in my opinion i think that four first round picks is a pretty decent amount now one of them is protected actually i posted a full reaction to this trade on my clips channel why this channel not one of my other four channels i don't know i felt like it Trey Young makes the olympia second team Dejounte is not anywhere to be found drew holiday someone broke his ankles and he's out for the season and also clint capella is out for six weeks now he did struggle with injuries last year so i guess this is true to form but now kong was starting who's a fantastic defender although he's a little bit undersized but a 50 53 and 29 a little bit worse than the Sixers who Harden just took a uh, he actually declined his player option so that he could get a better deal like you know get a more team friendly deal but at the same day same time Russell Westbrook accepted his set 47 million granted I think anybody would do that but you know everybody's been cooking him for it and we are down 3-1 to the Celtics now this is the reigning finals team but uh you know they're the sixth seed and we're the third seed maybe they struggled with injury or something we're down 3-1 we're coming back nope we lost six games lost to the Celtics I would probably think that the Hawks would still lose to the Celtics but you know, Dion, uh, my bad. DeJounte does make this a lot more interesting. It will definitely be interesting to see him like leading a team in the playoffs as well. If the Hawks do, you know, make it and everything goes well, the Bucks with another ring. That's your first year results. But we got, why does, why is Mellow, why is that Nuggets Mellow? What am I looking at? What? Oh, maybe he put the Nuggets version in so that he uh, looked like, you know, current Mellow who brought back his cornrows. All right. So it's the draft for Wen Banyama and the, the Spurs were not the worst. But even with that, you know, the bottom four teams all share the same odds or similar odds of the top pick. I think the top three teams actually share the exact same odds and they're actually bless you I already stemmed through the draft oh my they did it they did it they got him if they want him though he's not even expected to go number one they might draft this dude the Spurs drafted Scoot Henderson over Vic they let actually he fell to four you know what though for the sake of the video I'm gonna you already, we already know the sweepstakes is for Victor I think I'm gonna trade them Victor everyone's talking about some oh yeah if he goes there he'll be the next Tim Duncan you know he might come back to this video in a year and they end up with Scoot Henderson instead but just for the sake of today's hype oh wow and the thunder the drafted victor now you guys will make you'll 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 figure this out somehow ah yes the hawks signed nba legend harrison barnes but they actually lost deandre Hunt. not gonna lie he's supposed to be an important part of the core but he kind of sucks in 2k i also saw that adrian griffin was starting over him for like a second last season so maybe he'll just be the next deandre hunter he'll figure it out oh man Giannis was mvp last year but luca took back his reins victor when banyama rookie of the year with the spurs only shot 46 percent as a center but you know he's young russell westbrook sixth man of the year behind ja moran Ray young's on the second team again no sign probably won't be any sign of uh, DeJounte you know with the limited amount of touches and I think I forgot to check the numbers last year uh DeJounte averages 16 7 and 7 that's about right that's about right he did about the same last year and look Adrian Griffin playing well in his new role we're second this year so we actually you know held on to the seed playing Philadelphia which is James Harden and Embiid in them and we're down 3-1 you got to be kidding me they also signed Dylan Brooks who would be a mean fit I think I saw some a few weeks ago about them wanting to trade Tobias are we about to lose and oh my we lost in six back-to-back -back years i think Dejounte was a smart move from them but does it make them better than philadelphia brooklyn milwaukee okay brooklyn might be a stretch milwaukee Mo i can't speak you, you see the teams bro steph curry finals mvp again except this time he beat the raptors i think i saw some that said that danny green has the most wins of any player in the past 10 years just a random stat of the day shout out to danny green the spurs should have been up here again actually let's see let's see San they got uh gregory jackson this is the uh 2024 draft if we're being completely honest half of these guys probably won't even be up here by the time this comes around but screw it ronnie james 29th pick to the champions oh we know they lost wow they're declining the team out so they just drafted jeremy sohan or whatever the hell his name is sochan sochan I, I i don't know they're declining his team option and he's only been in the league for two years my dog shot under 40 percent at small four at a, at a six foot nine. Oh yeah they cooked him sorry jeremy i've never seen one of these draft classes make a player a bust by the way if you ever see the like the year is off on the top right it's because i just downloaded a roster that has everything updated so it's actually a year earlier than it should be you know 
oh, also, Jontae's a free agent right now, and I decided to just let him go into free agency. I'm obviously going to bring him back to the Hawks, because that's the point of the video, but okay, he re-signed with the Hawks on a five-year, $116 million deal. It's definitely under what he's going to get in real life, but screw it. Oh, wow. They also signed CJ, though, on like the MLE, the mid-level exception. They got CJ McCollum in here, and they still got Kevin Herter, Cal Karis LeVert. Why the hell not? You're getting old, and 2K makes you bad. Is that Joe Johnson? Hell no. It's Jalen Johnson carrying down the JJ. I could see CJ McCollum doing something like that, taking some money off his contract. I mean, my dog's going to be working for a long time after he retires, too, in the journalism thing. This little win streak the team is on right now, they only got one loss, and that's to the real greatest team of all time, the New York Knicks. Oh, wait. They just beat him. I've been lost in over a month. Oh, the oh, oh, yep, yep, okay. But with that being said, you don't piece together a win streak like that and not finish with, sorry, Joel Embiid, I don't care, the first seed in the conference. Good for you, actually. You know, there's a very slim chance you get another chance at winning an MVP. I mean, you could win it next year. Who knows? DeJounte Murray, all defensive first team. I, I don't know if he was here every other year, but he should have been. They actually didn't make an all-NBA team, but he still averaged 26 and 10 per game. John Collins averaged 20 and 10. Adrian Gr what the hell? So DeJounte dropped down to fifth on the scoring, and he actually tied with CJ McCollum. DeJounte is just playing a little, you know what I'm saying? A little off-ball role in the offense. Six assists per game, though. I mean, that's not that's pretty on-ball to me. The team looks nice, though. We're playing Orlando first round. Do not lose to this man who... Wait. Oh, 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 the Spurs made it. I was like, what the hell? There's no way they just lost and they swept. What, did 2K create a new rule where you can't win basketball games? Come on. Uh, uh okay. Victor Wenbanyama led his team to the playoffs already. Him and this dude, Blake Wesley. Oh, wait, no, no, no. It was this guy. This is the number one overall pick. He did all right. And they got DeMar DeRozan back. And they stole Kevin Herter from us. What the hell? Oh, wait, they have Frank Nielakina. Well, I mean, whatever. I can't. I got to stop. Bro, they lost. All right, first seed. Come on, beat the Cavs real quick. Cavs are pretty close to being the first seed, but they lost. They're not close to beating us in the playoffs. And LeBron is on the Pacers with Mikey Williams. Where the hell did Tyrese go? I have no clue. But LeBron is a seven seed, and he is looking like, you know, you don't see LeBron very dominant in 2K nowadays, or really ever. They make LeBron trash in this game, but we're seeing a very LeBron-esque run, even from his old man self at 91 overall. And we're in a game seven right now. But uh, LeBron loses in a game seven. Capella had 25 points, and John Collins had 22. CJ also 20 plus. Trey Young and Murray, both under 15 points, but they, you know, they got their 11 assists per. Also, we traded this season. Oh, we traded Kevin Herter for Malachi Bronham from the Spurs. I don't know how the hell to pronounce that. Bronham, Branham, Branham, Raisin Brand. Who knows? But we are in the finals. The Hawks were good enough to make it this far. You know, to be fair, this is going to be a, you know, I was questioning like two seconds ago, oh, are they better than this team, that team? But this is a young core that could, you know, stand the test of time. And hopefully it does because they gave up two picks in 2025, a pick swap in 2026, and another pick in 2027. But we're playing the guy that, you know, the, the comparisons have died down in recent years, but he was compared to him excessively for a long time. Trey to Steph. And they also have Porzingis and Mo Bamba on the wing. I just saw a stat on Twitter that Mo Bamba shot the second highest three four percentage in the league out of every center last year. We already know who's number one. It's Towns. And Patrick Baldwin, who they drafted at like 28th this year, was just starting at the three. I don't know where Kuminga went. Or Wiseman, for that matter. Matter of fact, I saw Wiseman won MIP last year. I just want to check if he's injured or they let him walk. Kuminga is still here. He's just not that good. Somehow Patrick Baldwin is... I mean, they're, they're the same overall. And yeah, they just lost Wiseman somehow. I don't know what the hell they're doing. But hey, they're here. And Curry is going for another finals MVP as he now has two of them going for his third. And they cooked us, bro. 163 points. What did we trade for defense for? Maybe it's because we got CJ McCollum playing 32 million minutes. Oh, Trey Young did foul out, though. Dropped 24 and 23. Okay, I understand now. DeJounte, though, you got to step up when he fouls out. Come on now. All right, down 1-0. And we are in a close game two in Atlanta. We Oh, yeah, we do have home court advantage. I just realized that. We lost our game one on the home floor. Come on, Trey. You fouled out on the home floor. He's getting his MVP chance, though. L listen to this. Loud as hell, though. My God. Trey Young in second free throw is good. He got a two-point lead with 141 left in the game. Steph Curry's going to bring it up. Steph guarded by Trey. I mean, DeJounte. DeJounte's actually not in the game, so I can't even say he should be on him. The screen by Kristaps. Uh, he's going to bring it back out. The little clean little spin for no reason. Kristaps over to Baldwin. Wide open for three, and that is good. My dog had no pressure. They forgot he was on the court. Let's see what Trey's got in the bag. I, honestly, I, as much as they're like, oh, Knicks fans should hate Trey, I, I really liked watching him play when he was succeeding. And CJ from way downtown, they changed his jumper, though. Whoever made the roster probably changed his jumper, but it, it's cool, bro. I don't really care. Similar enough, Steph Curry didn't change nothing with the shot. I mean, my dog was wide open. Curry going right. He gets double teamed. He makes his way. He passes it back out. Another three from Baldwin. He hits both to take a four point lead. Why would you leave the hot hand open? And why doesn't McCollum have the hot hand? I don't understand. Oh, no, there you go. There you go, CJ. I don't know why they doubled off of you. Did they just guard Clint Capella from three and not him? Am I tweet? Am I bugging? Why are they doubling every single time? Steph Curry with the 
behind the head pass to Mo Bamba. Bamba at the line, and he's going to hit the free throw. Still a four-point deficit as they, you know, took the three right back. McCollum again off the ball, and they're going to give it to him. CJ, the pass fake. He's getting the screen from John Collins. They're going to let him rock. CJ pulls up from three. Holy hell, what was that shot? What do we do? Oh, my. CJ McCollum. Where is DeJounte? He's just not on the court. They wanted CJ to close this one out, and well, I forget who sold defensively, but we sold defensively. That's all you got to know. DeJounte did not even sub back in just now. Yeah, they don't, they don't even rock with bro. Maybe one more chance. Pass in to CJ. CJ to Collins. Collins, wh what the hell are we doing? Okay. Trey pulls up, moving three, a miss. It's over. It's clearly over. Um, we lost in game. We actually folded two. We were up by two and then didn't score again. And on cue, McCollum, five for 14 shooting. I don't know why. Look at Capella, 12 for 15, 24 points, not even one free throw. And the Warriors are going to take another win to cook us in the finals. We are down 3 0. It's, there's, watch, there's no way. There's, yeah, okay, cool. Stephen Curry, finals MVP. We got swept. And Patrick Baldwin might have been the reason why. LeBron retired. That was his last dance, making it to the conference finals. Spurs draft Ian Jackson. Victor is a 90 overall already. And they got Davion Mitchell over here, who usually struggles on offense in 2K. Uh, he had a good last year. And they still got Keldon Johnson. That's the real franchise player. Paul George signs with the Hawks. And so does Jonathan Isaac. They just find ways to stack up on a bunch of random talent. CJ is old as hell, though. And Dario Saric is here. And he ain't no spring chicken either. So uh, entering season number four with, with the duo. Scotty Barnes. Mo what the? Yo, look at Scott. I ain't never seen you look like this before. Quentin Grimes, most improved player. With the Suns, we won't talk about that. Whoa, the Hawks fell off bad we didn't make the play-in game this year trey young played all 82 dejounte played all 82 john collins played so there's no excuse there's just no excuse paul george 36 percent from the field uh, jonathan isaac 39 percent from the field cj's old sarge shot 33 percent 35 from jay shaw holy we have the master class of trash supporting cast Devonte. oh my it just gets worse as we go on and on and i believe the pick this year this is the year that the pick definitely goes to the Spurs. So uh, this is a sellout year for sure. Yeah, Paul George is our fourth leading scorer and he sucks. And Victor Wenbon, oh, they, they didn't make the playoffs either though. Or the play, we're actually the exact same seed. So, you know, mirror image. Evan Mobley, finals MVP. CJ McCollum retired at 34 years. I mean, he was awful. And Steph retired, even though he's still at 95 and won mad rings. My dog won three more. So what did he have, six or seven or something? I don't know. The Spurs got the first overall pick for the third year in a row. And they got ATL's 12th overall pick. They they are cooking right now might be the turn where they might actually take over and you got marcus johnston johnson the hawks are down so terrible they're about to sign a second round pick that never happens in 2k i don't think i've literally ever seen one get signed john collins re-signs with the team he's been solid most of his years around here colin sexton's here you can never overlook that my dog was on the championship team and he averaged 17 and josh christopher mr j gup himself paul george get the hell out the rotation and let me know in the comment section you know we're about four or five years in the simulation obviously you know it's not real life we do this for fun around here but it's very easy to say that the hawks won the trade as of today but who do you think five years from now will look back and be like oh yeah nah they cooked them let me bring up my team for example i know the knicks don't make great moves we're about to lose to them actually in the regular season but you know when the chris stops porzingis trade happened it was like oh my god the knicks they traded porzingis and then porzingis ended up being awful got a bunch of cap space traded the cap space for players signed player it, it you know it didn't formulate into a mm, kevin and Kyrie. but then again kevin and Kyrie haven't done anything either so i mean i I, you know, it, the NBA is weird, man. At the end of the day, Steph ended up winning again, so who knows? Victor Wenbanyama, all-star starter, and the Hawks are the 10th seed, and the Spurs are seven. Scotty Barnes wins another MVP, and AJ Griffin wins most improved in Miami. Actually, he's already been there for two years. I didn't even realize we lost him already. And the Hawks came back to clinch a playoff spot. It obviously it is going to be tightly packed. It's 2K, and the Spurs are in the play-in still. Let's see, San Antonio. Oh, they lost. They lost in the play-in game. Hawks against uh, the the Pistons, and they lost in six games. Why are we? lost like every single series in six games whatever everybody's healthy as far as i'm concerned and we suck they did trade paul george though the suns won the championship led by finals mvp deandre aiden now this video is gonna be coming out in the first day of free agency uh he's not expected to go back to the suns definitely an interesting development as also um devin booker is not even here anymore and obviously chris paul's probably 50 oh they were led by Jaden. Jaden ivy left phoenix i mean left detroit for phoenix that looks just like him that is not the official 2k but that's 
pretty not maybe just like but it's but it's accurate like this one by nyam one i do not think that looks like victor chet holmgren i this doesn't i don't know man you know attention to detail raul neto retired trey young is a free agent we'll just you know just let's let's see if he he went to the pelicans which is pretty funny but i don't envision envision a future where he actually does leave the hawks so i'm gonna bring him back maybe the next contract i'll let him dip let's see if this duo has anything this trio this quad quad whatever the hell and marvin bagley is here chet holmgren most valuable player all right hawks are in the playing game actually they're both in the playing game let's see hawks got eliminated cooked them i honestly i really don't know why they're not good trey young 51 points in the playing game but then they lost to the pistons again he dropped 34 in this game they got vucevic here on the mle and dejounte dropped the near triple double on fantastic shooting john collins five for 13 all the all the supporting cast sucks i think that's really just the the reoccurring thing here the spurs make it to the second round defeating the rockets but they lose to the lakers jay won finals mvp with the bulls zach levine's still here he ain't leaving free agency kevin durant retired with no real rings all right kevin now look at this guy this is a man who you know i mean he was playing with tim duncan but then he carried he carried uh norman powell and og ananobi who had appendicitis and didn't play that entire raptors playoff run carl towns and lonzo ball are currently a duo on the rockets good for you guys and because of the hawks are giving all their money to these, th these three guys who are all just about to be all 30 years old we have nobody else except for anthony davis 35 year old 81 overall man sure why not man pull up to our entirely untrustworthy society we have nothing right going on around here Lamelo ball wins his mvp Bronny james most improved player and the spurs are the second seed and the hawks missed the playoffs entirely they got marcus johnson victor gregory those three number one overall picks well victor i had to force him there but you know davion mikhail bridges the defense is insane cam thomas for some buckets off the bench Keldon's still here kyle kuzma why not how can they get so many players but our team has none and yes i'm referring to them as they because you know like is it's you know that's not our team that's we're, we're, we're rooting for the hawks in this but they did lose to the pelicans just now that's funny because i actually took trey from the pelicans for nothing how you get cooked by 84 overall bam and the warriors won another ring despite uh, steph being retired otto porter the greatest shooter of all time retired nba 2k 14 legend are the hawks drafted because the hawks should have their picks back now i couldn't trade picks this far into the future oh yes they got ferdinand delgado who was supposed to be ming yao aka yao ming in case you're you know stupid that is it for the era and i'm gonna let it rock oh does jante murray oh he ruptured his achilles oh it was that it was late into the season he ruptured his achilles but he decided to sign with it looks like the brooklyn nets or actually wait no wait yeah yeah no yeah what am i talking about where did he sign back with the spurs no i'm tripping it, it, it was just the black and white colors there he is dejounte joins ben simmons and michael porter jr on the nets ben simmons still here after all these years despite this number two overall pick that wasn't forcing him to resign wasn't really influencing him so let's see if this weird non-shooting duo he's gonna make with ben simmons will actually work out dejounte is still out for two to four more months that is unfortunate but the nets are still not losing any games right now can we stop for a second look at that dude on the left side you cannot convictingly tell me that that is anthony edwards there's just no way stop the simulation stop go to the wolves that's not anthony edwards who is this no way they made like a like a created player just so this man had the new hairstyle man you guys dragged it i'm not gonna lie whoever, whoever went there, you dragged it i mean i'm assuming they just gave him the same exact tendencies and everything so he ends up the exact same but you know jesus Ferdinand delgado rookie of the year to be fair at this point he's probably one of the only rookies that's actually playing but you know 15 points and seven rebounds for the atlanta hawks rookie now that being said the team is awful ben simmons congrats on your dpoi bro try young congrats on an all nba third team but it's probably not deserved i'll be honest with you because your team is the worst team in the league now it's been long enough to where they have their first round picks back and letting dejounte walk was maybe a good thing they're gonna be top four in terms of picks unless they traded it without me knowing and the spurs are the best team in the league and the nets also missed the playoffs somehow they were actually doing really good but uh hold on where are they yeah, there, there they are dejounte's back and everything oh michael porter jr yeah why'd they sign the injured bros i don't understand torn right achilles bro come on just like get up and the spurs are in the finals against the sixers let's see oh my the spurs are about to win a championship victor Wenbanyama, tim duncan 2.0 is here anthony davis of the hawks retired the hawks finally well they draft another player top four. Oh, ooh. the nets i mean no wait wait what the spurs finesse the top four picks still okay see okay see this is why you shouldn't have traded that pick get it like oh okay get it shut up shut up shut up will conroy jr whatever the hell his name is yeah 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 uh you're on the spurs now and eric dampier jr this is the dude i mean he's eric dampier's son i believe he was in the league and i've seen highlights of him he's like in like the sixth grade and he's like six six they also 
also had a bunch of other draft picks. So I guess, you know, they did their due diligence. Oh, wow. Ben Simmons and Michael Porter Jr. left the Nets and uh, Brandon Ingram signed. That's actually kind of funny because a few years ago when Trey tried to leave, he went to the Pelicans to join Brandon Ingram. Now Trey stuck on the Hawks, obviously. But they signed Marcus Johnson, who was from the Spurs, wasn't he? What the hell did the Spurs do wrong? Nah, did they have like a hit on the Spurs or something? Oh my God. Now, now the Hawks are about to take back over. What the hell is going on with this simulation? They would have never had that money if they didn't have Trey. I and mean, if they didn't let go of DeJounte. Just drop my control on the floor. You didn't hear that. Nets and the Hawks suck. So, hey, I, all I can say is DeJounte, Trey, you're both sellouts. I'm sorry. That's the only... Wait, how do the Hawks suck? I don't understand. They drafted the number one pick, signed another one who just won a championship. They all played all their games. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, no. They all played all the games, basically. And the Spurs are the eight seed now because old dude left them. So, everybody, we just sabotaged the Spurs, sabotaged ourselves, and the Bucks are back to champions. Trey Young has left the Hawks for the Rockets, and I can't blame him. I'm going to let him do whatever the he wants i made him stay in atlanta for another four years maybe it's just the hawks front office not being able to get a, a you know supporting cast around him all these years it'll be forced them to stay there like three times he joins lonzo ball and towns and paulo and kuminga what how is this legal lamella 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 okay hold on hold on victor wait victor left no wonder that oh my god victor left the spurs how'd they fumble they won the ring and they lost both of their dudes I I never realized that. That is so crazy. <laughs> Yo, that is an elite fumble. Davion Mitchell, you're out, whatever. But uh, the, the Rockets were the second seed. Trey Young is back in contention. The first time since they made the finals that one year, every other team is not here. The, the Rockets are going to make it to the conference finals. And of course, the Rockets. The curse of losing to the Warriors continues, even though they're now led by Patrick Baldwin still and Chet Holmgren. But the Bucks with another ring. Giannis at 37 years old. Still him. Kind of interesting to see him win a bunch of rings. Because in real life, we kind of take for granted you know, everyone's talking about some, oh yeah, Giannis is up here in this ranking and this and that. We take for granted he's going to get back there probably, but you don't know. We don't know, but it's cool to see him actually get there in 2K because in 2K this year, they haven't really been liking him that much. In my opinion, I've done a lot of these, but what do I know? Spurs draft this dude. DeJounte's an 84 and 35. Trey Young's an 88 and 33. I mean, the Spurs, are, this is this is what they are. Right? We're not following them really. The Hawks still got there. Eric Dampier's already in 89. He's in year two. Watch they win a ring now within these next like five or so years. Fake Anthony Edwards sneak in his way in again, please. Scotty Barnes, three-time MVP. Scotty Barnes, DPOI, taking over the league. Victor Wimbanyama is out for the season with the Wizards. Very surprised a human being willingly went to the Wizards. The Rockets lose in the first round to the Warriors. The, the Hawks are the first seed, but they lost to the Bulls. And Victor's team lost in the second round. The Warriors get another ring. Are they just going to win the every ring for the next 20 years? That, oh, that's it. That's it. DeJounte Murray has retired an 85 overall at 36 years old. He's called it quits. This was the DeJounte Murray Trey Young Hawks career simulation and well it ended up with about eight Atlanta years I believe unless I just counted awfully right here and they were all mid. Not Trey Young, John Collins, DeJounte none of them, well, none, none of them, uh, I can't speak. None of them won any rings and the only man who has won a ring that we cared about here is current wick, wick, what the hell am I saying bro? I'm trying to say Wizards and Wenban Yama at the same time and it's not working because that's not how you're supposed to speak English. Current Wizards player Victor Wenbanyama, who won a ring with San Antonio in his last year there before he went and got his bag elsewhere because the Spurs folded or whatever, which let's be honest, probably wouldn't have happened in a real scenario, but we'll take it, bro. All we know is that in this video, the Spurs won the trade. Will they do so in real life? I guess we'll see. Will they even get Victor Wenbanyama? I don't know. Will it matter? I don't know. But for the sake of the video, DeJounte Murray retires two first team all defense and five second team all defense and nothing else. And John Collins, one second team all rookie. Trey Young still running rampant around the league but his team was the eighth seed this year despite this team which i don't understand he's made 10 all-star appearances for all nba selections he'll probably make the hall of fame you know it's just it's trey young bro i don't know but all that matters is that it didn't happen in atlanta and for the hall of fame neither Dejounte or obviously john collins didn't make it but of course the god ben simmons did no jerry's retirements for Dejounte or nothing well i don't come into these videos hoping that they go wrong I, i'd rather see you know the greatest possible scenario regardless of what happens in real life this is a possible scenario one finals mvp got i mean one finals appearance got swept maybe not even a finals appearance we'll see what happens that's officially gonna do it that's officially gonna do it sorry i don't know why i can't speak thank you for watching you can like and subscribe to the channel if you keep my channel at all let me know what the hell you want to see next shout out to eric dampier jr and i'm gonna get the hell up and out of here uh